right, and welcome to my video on setting up an IEC driver. Uh, in this example, I'm using it to communicate between Logic and MainStage, and this is a follow-up video to my previous video where I use Logic to automate uh, various items within within MainStage uh, using the IAC bus as a, as a virtual uh, MIDI connectivity. Uh, port right into main stage. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is go into your audio MIDI setup and you'll get this pane that you're probably already familiar with. In the upper left hand side you'll see IAC driver. Just double click on that. Now mine is already created. Um, so you want to do a couple of things. Is The first thing that you want to do is click this box to, to say that the device is online. That'll make the IEC driver available. And then down in the port section, I believe this defaults to port one. I can't remember, but I just double click that and I renamed mine to logic to main stage. You can have any number of uh, uh, drivers that you might like to uh, create, but uh, uh, in, this, in this example, as I say, I use mine uh, for logic to main stage. You can create whatever you want. And then I would just leave the connectors at one. I, I, I don't think you'll need more, but if you do, just Go ahead and do that. And you can just create, as I say, as, as many as you like there. Okay. So once you have set the devices online and you've named your port, that is it. That uh, IAC driver is going to be available to you. And then if you go into Logic, um, the way that you can use it uh, is, uh, let me just go ahead and add a, a track here. So you want to add an external MIDI track. I'm just going to click Create. Okay, and then in the, uh, let me just go into the right tab here, in the library tab of the media section, you'll see right here, all of a sudden there'll be a new driver that crops up, which is this IEC driver, uh, Logic to Main Stage, which is the one that we just created through the audio MIDI setup. And then you can simply just choose whichever MIDI channel you want. In this case, I'm just going to use uh, MIDI channel 1. And now anything appearing on this track 2 here, any MIDI, will be sent through the IAC driver. Now at the same time, that, uh, that IAC driver will appear in main stage, and we'll just go double check that. Uh, if I go into main stage and up here in the hardware input section, if I just click down on device, you'll see that that logic to main stage IAC driver is available. So that means that it's, um, it's available in both logic and it's available in, in main stage. So now anything that comes through that will appear within uh, main stage. So with, within main stage, you can either set up um, you can set up specific devices to access just that if you want, dedicate it to it. You can set up control devices, whatever you want, or you can just leave it generally available uh, so that whatever you're actually doing here is uh, is just listening to, to all. And um, uh, that would include the IEC driver data also. So that's it. It's very straightforward. Uh, again, in summary, all you would do is go into your audio MIDI setup, double click on the IEC driver, tell it that the device is online, uh, rename your port, create a re rename your port. Uh, it'll be available right there. And then to use, just go into Logic, create your external instrument uh, MIDI track, and then just point that track to the IEC driver. And then that I IEC driver uh, will appear within uh, main stage right here. So that's it. If there's any questions or comments, please kindly post them. Always happy to hear uh, your uh, questions and comments. All the best. Till next time.